In this video, we'll discuss a strange tale out of Dixon County, Tennessee, about a murderous creature known as the White Bluff Screamer. Near an isolated area known as Trace Creek, not far from where modern-day Highway 47 crosses southwest of Montgomery Bell State Park, there lived a young family whose names are now lost to history, trying to make their new life in Tennessee during the early 1900s. The family had seven children, the oldest being around 14 and the youngest was four. There was nothing remarkable about them, as the area so many young families spread to the rural areas of Tennessee at the end of World War I to restart their lives. The patriarch of this family could well have been one of those returning veterans. They built a typical cabin-style home in the bottom lands southeast of White Bluff. All was well with their world until the screaming started. The first night was unsettling for the quiet rural farm. The screeching wail echoed throughout their valley. The children and their mother waited silently in their cabin as their father took his lantern around the house to investigate but nothing was found. He dismissed the noise as some sort of injured animal in the woods. However, the following nights, screaming grew longer, louder, and so frequent that after a week of the disturbance, sleep was impossible for any of them and the children were terrified of the coming nights. When the sun went down behind the rolling hills, the screams would start anew. Their father, desperate to rid his family of this wretched screaming, sat out under their porch one evening, rifle and ammo in hand, and waited. As the sun sank over the surrounding hills, the last light of day extinguished itself. He told his wife to lock the doors and windows and to only open it for him and him alone for when he returned. The familiar eerie wailing began almost immediately after dark. He steeled himself, said goodbye to his family, then set out into the dark woods. Tonight, he would find the source of the screams that tormented his family and put it to rest. The ceaseless scream pierced his ears as he bounded through the thick brush and weeds. The man was determined, though icy chills ran through his body every time the scream started. He was an expert woodsman but struggled to keep his bearings and became lost chasing the screams through dense fog. Every time he thought he was getting nearer, the unnerving wail would suddenly move farther away, luring him deeper and deeper into the woods. At times, he felt he was walking in circles, or that the screaming was actually encircling him. Was there more than one creature out there taunting him? The horrible sound echoed off the large trees and made tracking the source nearly impossible. He extinguished his light and knelt down trying to pinpoint the direction of the screams. If I can't find it, then I will let it find me, he said. He crouched and waited. Suddenly, the horrible wail became mixed with the blood-curdling screams of a woman and of children. Whatever this creature was, it had found his family. He raced through fog and brush, his heart pounding with every footfall. He cried out for them, but only the terrified screams of his family could be heard. After what seemed an eternity, he could make out the dim light from his cabin windows. He was almost there. The screams abruptly stopped. The man burst through his cabin door to find a gruesome scene. 
The mutilated and shredded bodies of his wife and children were strewn about the cabin, their lifeless forms torn to shreds. As he collapsed to his knees in horror and disbelief, the eerie wailing started again. Some say that after finding his family slain, the man set out again in a murderous rage to hunt down their assailant and slay the beast, only for him to find a creature with savage claws and teeth covered in white fur. It had the head of a dog or wolf with glowing eyes of ember, easily twice the size of a man. While no records of this terrible murder could be found, locals of White Bluff, Tennessee, who kept up with the town's history, say this incident did in fact happen. Reports say the remains of the man's cabin are still there today, along with the White Bluff Screamer, who still haunts the area around it. Now that you know about the White Bluff Screamer, you should also know that the Wicked Paranormal Team will be camping in Montgomery Bell State Park this fall. Our next video will be our documented night in search of the White Bluff Screamer. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.